In this sentence about the Virtual Leonardo Project, the prompt has some problems. So the prompt says, encourages vis visitors to touch each exhibit, which thereby activates the animated functions of the piece. And the question is, what does this which refer to? Typically, which would refer to the noun that it touches. Here it touches the exhibit. Well, the exhibit doesn't activate its own functions. What actually does the activation is the act of touching. But we can't really have the word which with an antecedent of a verb. It has, an ante it has to have an antecedent that is a noun. And in fact, that noun has to immediately precede it. So the which is incorrect. And in, then we look at answer choice B, we get this in turn an activation of, oh my God, what a disaster that is. Um, and as a general rule, when you have a choice between a word appearing in verb form, activate, or noun form, activation, as a general rule, the GMAT prefers the words that in verb form because of course that's more direct that's more active and in particular this particular verb activate is one of the most active verbs in the english language so there's something particularly ironic about taking this very active verb and then making it a noun so in turn an activation of that's just a pure disaster and then c is also interesting because we get this and it will activate and the question is well what is the it again it's the act of touching itself that activates but the antecedent of a pronoun can't be a verb the antecedent of a pronoun has to be a, a noun and so that is also incorrect and right away this kind of narrows us down to d what's really going on here is that when i touch the exhibit in the act of touching it I activate it. So the touching and the activating are A, done by the same person, and in B, in some sense, they're really the same action. So of course, those should be in parallel to touch and activate. And that's exactly what we have in D, to touch and thereby, and thereby activate. That is a correct parallel structure. So D is the only one free of grammatical errors, the only one that has the correct structure. Leonardo himself would be proud of it. It is the best answer choice.